it's given to us that the four integers involved here are distinct and we have to figure out whether the range is greater than 6. See, it's not equal to 6, it's about the range being greater than 6. Look at statement 1. It says that no two integers are consecutive and therefore we cannot take cases such as 1, 2, 3, 4. No two integers can be consecutive. So let us take a difference of 2. A difference of 1 cannot be taken. So we take the next minimum difference, a difference of 2. And therefore, we can take something like 1, 3, 5, 7. And in such a case, we get no as an answer. See, the range is equal to 6, not greater than 6. And therefore, no is possible. And yes is of course possible for a case such as 1, 3, 5, 100, let us say. Yes is possible. So, no and yes both are possible while satisfying the condition given in the question and the condition given in statement 1. So, statement 1 is not sufficient. Look at statement 2 now. Statement 2 says that none of the numbers are a multiple of 3. So, alone of course it is not possible. Now, we have the flexibility of taking consecutive numbers and therefore we can take something like 1, 2, 4, 5. And now see none of the 4 integers is a multiple of 3 and the 4 integers taken are distinct and therefore no is possible. Yes can of course be taken for cases such as 1, 2, 4, 100. Yes is easy to find. So once again, no as well as yes, both are possible while satisfying the condition given in the question as well as the condition given in statement 2 here. So statement 2 alone is also not sufficient. Let's combine and check now. See on combining, in all such cases you will see that one of the four integers will always be a multiple of 3. See here, 3 itself is a multiple of 3, so we cannot take such a case. Try taking another example, 100, 102, 104, 106. See, 102 is a multiple of 3 here. Try taking any other random example, 250, 252, 254 and 256. Once again, you have one case which is a multiple of 3. So, such consecutive integers can no longer be taken. So, for example, if we have 400, the next integer cannot be 401 because consecutive integers are not allowed because of statement 1 here. 402 cannot be taken because multiples of 3 are not allowed because of statement 2 here. So, the next integer must be 403 and then 404 cannot be taken because 404 would be consecutive to 403. 405 cannot be taken. 405 is a multiple of 3. So, the next integer possible is 406 and then 407 cannot be taken. 408 cannot be taken. 409 has to be taken and you see the range turns out to be 9 which is greater than 6. You can try other combinations. Maybe in some cases you will get 8 or 7 but you will always get a range greater than 6 and therefore on combining greater than 6 and therefore on combining we can say that yes combining works. We can no longer get a no. Yes is the only possible answer on combining and therefore C is the correct answer choice.